in the point. Oh, he's hit the baseline. What a rally that was. Absolutely magnificent. It's magic, arms aloft from Kevin Anderson. He's the champion of the 45th edition Hall of Fame Open. And it's his first title victory since Pune 2019. And Kevin Anderson, after getting an email sent to the new tournament director, Bruro, asking for a wild card. forehand just incredible wasn't a bad volley perhaps could have stuck it a bit more but that is tough remarkable reactions from Anderson great point all around TFO's done well this is a good approach. Great first volley just to stab it deep. TFO's forced to retreat. <laughs> That's impressive. And then just blanking the net there, get anything on it. You can see the second hand he's got on the racket. Just a case of getting a stab on it. Anderson was able to hang with him. Quality stuff from both. Well, what a point from Kevin Anderson. Team had control for the majority of the point. He was hanging in there and then managed to turn it around. Nice bit of composure to finish it off. Oh, that's fantastic from Kevin Anderson. What a touch. And he does conjure up a break point now. Absolutely magnificent, because this is a really tough volley, and he plays it to perfection. Yes, Excellent you. footwork. That's just a delightful touch. Not even Monfils with his speed can get there. It's the biggest title of his career. Anderson is the champion in Vienna. And deservedly so. Oh, point of the match. Class. 
So much to admire in this rally. That was a decent lob. Team did well to stay in the rally. Oh, terrific stuff. And again, he's not supposed to be able to do that so easily. That lean over from that height requires a lot of balance. Could do no wrong at the moment. The previous forehand around 147K, this thing was moving as well. Flat as a pancake, look at that. There it is. Delight for Kevin Anderson. Takes the New York Open title in some style. Beating Sam Quarry 4-6, 6-3, In two hours and 13 minutes. It's back into the top 10 at number nine on Monday for Kevin Anderson. Yeah, my family back at home. My brother actually lives, uh, you know, up in Connecticut and in New York. He's actually home visiting uh, my parents. So, you know, just want to thank them for all their love and support. My dad, who coached me for, you know, basically 20 years growing up and, uh, you know, all the love they've given, uh, they've given me.